Manx Radio Podcasts, powered by Shaw. Women Today, brought to you by CityWing.com for your next flight away. Uh, good afternoon. We've just been chatting on Women Today this afternoon to the organisers of the Miss Isle of Man pageant. We have former Miss Isle of Man winner Sue Tomman and also Colette Wilde with us. And uh, Howie, we just wanted to, to clarify a few things with the ladies before we let them go, didn't we? Indeed. I think, I think the thought is perhaps for people who are thinking of going along on the night itself, of course, what can they expect to see? What's going to be the actual format? We clarified, I think, the fact that it's not like your old traditional beauty pageant you're thinking back in the 70s, which you won in the late 1990s, of course. It's going to be a different format to that. So what, if people are going there in the audience, what are they going to see? The format this this year is going to be, um, we'll have pre-recorded the interviews with the contestants prior to the show um and it'll be in their own natural environments whether you know if they have hobbies with horses or and that will all be very naturally done with their charities and with their sponsors and on the lead up to the actual night there will be quite a lot of um events going on to raise money for charity etc so um we will be showing those the um there will be a panel of judges Um, who are the judges you're not allowed to say. Well, we'll, we'll reveal the judges over the course of the next few weeks, mm, I think. So, yeah, so we can drip feed some, um, you know, some some up to date information mm. into Excitement. the. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Keep people interested. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's going to be a night of entertainment. A lot of local performers performing things we've never seen them do before. Um, so, it, you know, it's going to be a really good night. Yeah. So there is very much a sort of. Um, show feel to it you know again back when I did it in 1997 and then again the events in 98 and 99 as you'll recall Christy there was very much a focus on giving the audience a good night out Mm. with some singing with some dancing with some amazing costumes and some lighting and all that sort of stuff to look forward to Um, and then the contestants themselves will be I guess showcased they will get to show the audience through their personal introduction video how they've worked with their charities um, how much they've been able to raise for their charities mm. um, you know there'll be some feedback from their business mentors and the business sponsors who's work who've worked with our finalists as well um, they will come onto the stage and they will wear a couple of outfits of their own choosing um, as we said earlier there that's are, what I was pondering so there will be that element of there of, will there's no because catwalk we established there isn't there is no catwalk but there is of course an element of personal presentation um you know i think it is important that that that, that these young women are given the opportunity actually to to have some fun and to glam up um, and, and to be able to kind of step out there in front of their friends and their families and their colleagues and say, this is me, look at me, look at who I am and look what I'm doing for my community. But they certainly will not be paraded. No, no. I th- and I think that's what you were yeah. talking about a lot in the programme earlier on, that there's this moving away from this Absolutely. element in, in some people's eyes. The old style was seen a bit like a, a, a cattle market, maybe the sort of meat market. We're moving a million miles away from that and saying, look, here we are, you know, young women growing up and we are successful, attractive, rounded, full women with, you know, busy lives. And as you say, someone was saying earlier on, oh, well, it's unfair aiming it at people who are going to be unemployed. That's the only person who's going to have time to do a lot of charity work. I would say the, the, the back end to that is, as you said yourself, is you want something doing, ask a busy person. It's usually the person who's working the hardest who quite often is working full on doing all sorts of other work as well. Uh, speaking of, just tell us then, for those who didn't hear the show, what will what will the winner actually have to do over the course of the coming year? So the winner will be expected to um, attend 12 events throughout the course of the year. They could be events that are uh, run in association with their business sponsor. Um, They could be events that are run in association with their charity. Um, Basically, what we want to do is to maintain the positive promotion and the positive profile that our finalists have built up for themselves in the run-up to the night of the 5th of August Um, and we will be working really hard with all of the organisers and the contributors to Miss Isle of Man um, to continue to get initiatives out there in the community that our our Miss Isle of Man will be very much involved with. And this has all been privately organised hasn't it? It Yes, absolutely yeah. um, We've spent 
a significant number of months working behind the scenes on securing local business sponsorship. Um, there are still a couple of sponsorship opportunities available. Um, if anyone would like to um, get in touch, please do. Um, but yeah, it's it's a private event. It is run by myself and Colette and a team of other people who are, you know, really just trying to focus on raising some money for charity. Um, it's not a government event. Um, we don't have a budget per se, other than the, the funds that we go out and raise ourselves from the support of local businesses here. And of course we have the resplendent crown <laughs> uh, just do. with us in the studio. Oh, fresh, it's shiny. Shiny and sparkly and fresh from Hatton Garden. And, and this will <laughs> actually be there will be the crowning on the night yes there will i think that's that's part of the fun of it you know i think these these young women that um that will be selected as our finalists um you know we hope will have had some fun throughout the process will have been working extremely hard so why not give them a moment of glory why not say we're impressed with everything that you've done for us and for these local charities and here's a crown for your efforts I like that. Just one final question. With the, the idea of this woman being potentially sort of Isle of Man ambassador, do you think that's a fair thing to call her? And if so, is there any sort of going to be any opportunities to promote things off island with her as well? Claire? Well, that would be, you know, that's probably just something that's going to evolve over time after it, it's happened. But, um, you know, if her company, her sponsor or her charity wanted her to do something like that, then great. Um, we... As we haven't thought about doing anything off island yet, have we? We haven't, but you know, as we said earlier, I think this is this is about bringing something back that hasn't been with us for about twenty years. Um, we don't want to run before we can walk. No, we want to make this event a success. We want to make sure that these charities benefit from the profile and from the the funds that are raised. If we make this a success, then we will most certainly look at doing different kind of evolutions of this event. Um, and if we can take our, you know, ambassador or our or our miss, whoever it may be, off island to represent, then we absolutely will. Yeah, very much so. So, in that respect, then, is she going to be representing the island in any way, or is it more representing the charity that she's she's sort of um, fronting as such? At this stage, representing her charity and her spot her sponsor she's tied to them both um but who knows where it will take her because as i say this is just you know we need to get this right first and then we'll move on from there later on howie what would you like to see in a missile of man what do you Ooh. think the qualities should be of our missile of man 2017 well, i think it clearly it's got to be someone who's i was saying before it doesn't sound necessarily the right word but a rounded personality it's got to be someone that hasn't it too i think is clearly it's going to be a good people person Someone obviously has a good quality and, and amount of drive, rather like you were saying yourself, with you know working full time and doing all your your boxing and raising all this money as well. It's got to be someone who's got a lot of commitment there. So a lot of drive, a lot of enthusiasm, a good people person, someone who's able to connect and make people smile, and I think also someone with it's one of my favourites. It's got to be someone with a good sense of humour as well. Someone who's able to laugh Absolutely. at other people and laugh at themselves. OK, Sue, for anyone that's listening and didn't hear the show earlier, um, how can they apply to enter Miss Isle of Man? So our website will be going live tomorrow. There is a holding page, so if you visit www.missiom.im, you will be able to um, apply online, um, submit a short interview or... It introduction video um, and answer a few simple questions about who you are and what you like and what you're interested in um, and then we will be selecting um, our finalists by the end of March um, and the finalists will be revealed at the first first week of April and then hopefully from there we'll get um, lots more momentum and get the community behind all of our finalists and um, yeah have a lot of lots of fun and the wonderful thing nowadays is you don't need a film crew to do that because you can just do your own video on your phone Absolutely. can't you which makes it it doesn't have to be high quality or no, anything. No, 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 not no. at all. Just and so we can get a feel of yes, what sort yeah. of person you are. Absolutely. And Colette, remind everyone of the date of the event itself. It's the 5th of August and it's at the Royal Hall of Villa Marina. Wonderful. Ladies, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, we've had Susan Tomman and Colette Wilde with us thank this afternoon you. talking thank all you. about Miss Isle of Man and Howie Kane wearing a crown. <laughs> what can I say? Women Today, brought to you by CityWing.com for your next flight away. Don't sit in the slow lane. Join the fast lane right now with Shaw's all-new Superfast Plus Broadband. Enjoy more bandwidth, amazing speeds and the best value on the island from just £23.95 per month. So don't be left behind. Get a piece of the high-speed action with Superfast Plus Broadband from Shaw. For details, visit our stores in Douglas, Ramsey and Port Erin or click shaw.com. 
Terms and conditions apply.